Hello, my name is Robert French, and I'm the founder of RF Ministries and the pastor of Balanced Life Christian Fellowship in St. Charles, Missouri. Welcome to today's episode of Daily Bread. Hello, this is Pastor French welcoming you to another segment of Daily Bread. Recently, my wife drew my attention to a news story that popped up on her phone news app. It was the epitome of what I've been talking about for the last several weeks on Daily Bread. It was a shocking story, but yet when you look at it, what our young people are, are being subjected to today, I was not surprised. I want to read part of the news story as reported on CBS News October 25th, 2018, Bartow, Florida. Two middle school girls, aged 11 and 12, brought knives to their Florida school in a foil plot to kill classmates, cut them up, and drink their blood before killing themselves, police officials said Wednesday. They told us they were Satan worshipers, Bartow Police Chief Joe Hall said. CBS affiliate WKMG reported, the girls planned to stake out a bathroom at Bartow Middle School and wait for smaller students to enter according to a police affidavit. They plan to cut their victims' throats, cut up their bodies, and eat the flesh, authorities said. The students then planned to fatally stab themselves. The plan was to kill at least one student, but were hoping to kill anywhere from 15 to 25 students, the affidavit said. Killing all of these students was in hopes it would make them worse sinners, ensuring that after they committed suicide, they would go to hell so they could be with Satan. Detectives said the girls devised the plot while watching scary movies at one of their houses over the weekend. Detectives said the girls posted information about the planned attack on social media. Messages on their cell phones also stated they wanted to leave body parts at the school's entrance, WKMB reported. These were just small children. They went to their school with the intention to not only commit murder, but to kill themselves in the process. They said they got the idea from watching scary movies. What kind of movies were these? And the next, more pertinent question, why were they being allowed to watch them in the first place? But heaven forbid we would speak of Jesus or the Bible or allow the Ten Commandments anywhere in a public school. They might cause harm or damage to the children's minds. The excuse used is the so-called separation of church and state. However, that is not to be found anywhere in our Constitution. What it does say is this, quote, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people to peaceably assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances, unquote. It seems to me that they have ignored the part where it says you cannot prohibit the free exercise thereof. Notice it does not say except on government property or public schools. I don't know if people realize this, but you can speak of Jesus and the things he taught completely apart from religion. Jesus, believe it or not, never came preaching a religion. As far as I know, he did not belong to any sect, not even Judaism. This was one of the reasons they finally murdered him on a Roman cross. He would not endorse any man-made religion. He preached the kingdom of his father Jehovah and its righteousness. Does it make you think that if these two young girls had been taught about Jesus and his message instead of the plot they had made to do harm to others as well as themselves, they would have been seeking to do no harm but rather good. I know people say this is just an isolated incident, but is it? I know this was a severe plot, but how many other things are going on in the minds of our children that are just as damaging, that we never hear about because it never makes the news? It amazes me how much violence, wickedness, sexual immorality, murder, and so forth we allow through the movies, social media, and other outlets, and that doesn't seem to faze people. But speak of Jesus and his teachings, and you get resistance and anger. I will close with this passage from the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 19 through 21. And this is the judgment 
that the light has come into the world. And people love the darkness rather than the light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone who practices evil hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deeds be exposed. But the one who practices the truth comes to the light in order that his deeds may be revealed, that they are done in God. Thank you for watching. And until next time, remember, give love, give life, give Jesus. Enjoyed today's daily bread. Join us again next week.